Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I'm the assistant camp director here at Camp Seattle and today we're going to be making stinging nettle tea. As you can see all around me we have stinging nettle. Stinging nettle grows in abundance here at camp just due to our wet ecosystem. Uh, stinging nettle is much like spinach in its taste and consistency. Uh, it's really really high in vitamin A, C, D, uh, calcium, iron, potassium. Yeah. Uh, and when you cook it, uh, it will lose its stinging properties. If you watched with Corin the wetland plant ID video, we talked about how stinging nettles have those hairs that sting you. But once you cook them or grind them up into pesto, they lose their stinging properties completely. So today we're going to boil them in water and make some tea. So the first step that I'm going to do today is I'm going to collect all of my nettles. Uh, I'm going to fill this big gallon Ziploc bag full of nettles. You can either use your hand and pick it off of the plant by folding it in half and not touching the bottom and putting it in the bag. Or we all know right now we have gloves laying around. You could take your glove to prevent you from getting stung and just picking it off and putting it in the bag. Uh, you also can use a garden glove. It's probably going to work a little bit better than your gloves that you're using right now uh, because they can still kind of sting through, but not as bad. So I'm still using my folding method and I'm picking and putting it in my bag. You're going to fill up the entire bag with stinging metal leaves. Okay, everyone, so here we are in Misty Lodge and we're actually going to be making the tea now. Um, so the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this pot about halfway with water. Um, when I googled recipes on how to make the tea, it never really said like the proper ratio. It said about um, a cup of water to about a tablespoon of dry nettles. Uh, we have wet nettles because we did just pick them. Uh, so we're going to kind of experiment and see what happens. Uh, and I'll let you know honestly if you need to add more water or less water at the end. So. Freshly rinsed leaves. Um, our water is boiling, so we're going to quickly just drop it into the water for like about a minute, uh, and then I'm going to turn it down to low heat and let it sit for 10 minutes, steep for 10 minutes. Uh, and I'm going to, you know, stir it every minute or two just to get all the juices uh, making it into tea. So I'm going to oh. our tea. Uh, so it looks a lot like green tea, like you would have. Um, super yummy. 
Uh, we can, you can serve it with sugar or honey to sweeten it up a little bit. So uh, our last step is actually trying our tea. Uh, I have a sugar packet here because I really like kind of the sweeter teas, um, even if it's green tea and a stir stick. Uh, and so I'm going to open it. strain it very well. It's got a leaf in it. And then, ooh, it's very hot. Give it a try. It's pretty good. I like it. It tastes kind of like a uh, spinach and green tea and uh, a little bit of cucumber. So thanks for watching our stinging nettle tea video. We hope you learned something new. If you do decide to make some tea at home, take a picture of you with your finished tea and let us know how it is and send it on social media. Stay safe and stay healthy.